hi guys welcome back to my kitchen my name is adora on today's video i want to bring to you guys suvi suvi is your kitchen robot it is your personal chef that helps you save time in the kitchen and helps you enjoy premium chef designed meals without stress if you want to know how suvi works just relax and watch till the very end We are going to start with unboxing our Suvi. This is the model number SV301. Suvi weighs 58 pounds, so you may need to get someone to lift this appliance with you. So when you open the box, the first thing is the user manual. This user manual is so cool and so comprehensive. There's no information about Suvi that you won't find inside this user manual. I love how well package how well protected and how well cushioned the sous vide is inside the box so be rest assured nothing is going to happen to your personal shelf before it gets to you now i'm going to show you guys all the different parts of the sous vide and what each part does once you open the sous vide you'll notice that it has two cooking zones it has the upper and the lower zone and each zone comes with a pan and a roasting oven this is the heating element that helps you cook your meal inside sous vide i love the fact that it is quite spacious it has a depth of 20 inches 13 inches wide and 14 inches high now another interesting thing about sous vide is that it can keep your food ingredient cold up to 24 hours prior to cooking so it has a water reservoir and it uses a water-based cooling method just like the one we have in refrigerators to keep your ingredients cold until you are ready to make them this is the control knob this is what you use to select all the different functions that sous vide offers this is the power button and this is the plug the plug is quite long it can get to any length depending on where your outlets are here i'm gonna make a space for my new kitchen robot my personal chef and this is it looking so good making my kitchen look so sophisticated and before i use sous vide the first thing i'm going to do is to fill the water reservoir now let's talk about sous vide meals you can save even more time when you combine sous vide with sous vide chef designed meals sous vide has over a hundred different chef designed meals that you can choose from all you need to do is just to choose a plan and place your order and then your sous vide meals will be delivered to your doorstep and they come with a meal card so you just have to scan the meal card in the sous vide and sous vide will handle the rest I'm going to show you guys how to make one of the meals that are in my meal plans. This is the Mediterranean Salmon Grain Bowl. And inside the package, you'll find two salmon filler. You'll find kale. You'll find also blend. And you'll find one package of pesto. I'm also going to grill this chicken breast. I love how individually packed and how well portioned the chicken breast are and the good thing about it is it's already seasoned so you don't need to do anything other than just to put it in the sous vide and turn it on so here we are going to make the mediterranean salmon green bowl and this is the instruction you only need olive oil salt and pepper that's the only thing you need to make your sous vide meals once you plug Suvi in, it's going to prompt you to sign into your network or into your Wi-Fi. So here it's prompting me to do just that. And I just entered our password. Mind you, this is not a screen touch. Okay, you have to use the control knob to select whatever you want to select. And then it will prompt you to fill the water reservoir. It will download all the menu and the meals into your Suvi. And then it will also suggest that you download the Suvi app to your phone and the app works with Suvi so you can stay wherever you are and control your Suvi. So now I'm going to wash these pans before I use it for the first time. I think that's the right thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and load the ingredients into the Suvi pans. <music> The first step is to prepare the top pan and it says to run the pesto under warm water to thaw it. I've done just that. 
The next step is to open the salmon and place on a roasting rack in a sous vide pan. Then season with one tablespoon of olive oil, half teaspoon of salt, and some freshly ground pepper. Now the next step is to cut open the pesto and squeeze equally onto each fillet. Guys, I've never had salmon with pesto and when I try this, I'm like, oh my god, is this what I've been missing? Oh my god, it was so, so good. It was so, so good. So now that we are done with the top pan, we are going to load our second pan and it says cut open package with also blend and add to a separate sous vide pan and that's just what i just did now and then it says open the kale and place on top of also and then it says season with one tablespoon of olive oil half teaspoon of salt and some ground pepper and then the next step is to load your sous vide so we are going to place the salmon in the top zone and we will place the other blend and the kale in the bottom zone now let's go to the fun part you are going to scan the sous vide meal card in the sous vide and it will automatically tell sous vide how to cook your meal it will tell sous vide everything that needs to be done okay so these are the details you can either schedule it for later or you can just start cooking your food right away so here it's going to take 30 minutes for our dinner to be ready and while our dinner is being cooked in the sous vide i'm going to go ahead and just do the little cleanup that needs to be done which is basically putting away the salt the pepper the oil and then i have all the time in the world to play with my baby i have all the time in the world to do whatever i want to do because sous vide is doing the job for me suvi is my personal chef doing all the work for me and i just have to just sit back and just enjoy myself now we are counting down nine seconds eight seconds seven seconds six four three two and one <laughs> and our dinner is ready guys i'm so so skeptical when it comes to to proteins i love to make sure that mine are properly cooked on the inside so here i inserted my cooking thermometer and it is done okay it showed 120 degrees which is the recommended temperature for salmon so this is our dinner and the last step is just to plate uh, meals the thing that stands out the most for me when it comes to sous meals is the fact that they have something for everybody okay when you go on their website there are so many meals to choose from if you're on diet maybe if you're a vegetarian or if you're on keto diet there's something on their website for you if you have kids they have kids friendly meals just like the one that i chose when you are ordering your meals there's a place they will ask you if you have any food allergies and i love the fact that they put this into consideration when people are placing their orders i also love 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 the fact that their meals are top notch like they're top notch premium high chef designed quality meals it's almost like you are eating out in a fancy restaurant but then you are enjoying it in the comfort of your home that is so so cool to me now the table is ready and it's just gonna be me and the kids my husband is at work so it's just us enjoying our meal and we so so much enjoyed this dinner we enjoyed this mediterranean salmon green bowl it was so so good and so healthy as well you can also make your own meals in the sous vide it's not just the sous vide meals you can make your own customized meals in the sous vide there are various options which i'm going to show you guys in a little bit so here i'm going to broil this chicken breast chicken breasts are already seasoned which makes the work much easier so here are the various options you can choose from you can either bake broil um sous vide 
sloco steam proof it has a lot of options to choose from the last but not the least feature of sous vide that i would like to share with you guys is the fact that the two cooking zones work independently meaning that you can be making your jollof rice on the upper zone and then be broiling or grilling your chicken on the bottom zone which is so so cool make sure you stick around on this channel and see the other things i'm going to make with sous vide if you would like to get your own sous vide make sure you check out my description box or my comment section for the link and also some discount code when you use the code you'll get some discounts when you buy your own sous vide thanks so much guys for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one Thank you.